Hi everybody, so I am back with the rest of my estate jewelry haul. Today we're going to take a look at all of the brooches. In my last video I shared the vintage earrings. Um, if you haven't seen that, I purchased an entire display stand of vintage earrings and brooches from a shop in my town. She offered me a wonderful deal. I paid $40 for all of the brooches you're going to see today and then $40 for the earrings I shared in my last video. So. I realized there were a few earrings that I had left on this tray that I didn't share in that video, so I'm just going to quickly show them to you here. So we have these really stunning glass beaded earrings, this beautiful green and blue, and some multicolor art glass. Clip-ons, no markings, but gorgeous colors. And then this pair I actually didn't share because as I was looking through them, I noticed that they actually had a matching brooch. So we have these sort of amber color with rhinestone earrings and then a matching brooch here. They are not marked, however, um, they're really, really beautiful. This is a nice large size brooch and if you can see it's sort of a domed shape. So those are really nice. They're just resin, but gorgeous. All right, and so I did share, I shared the absolute best brooch at uh, this one here. If you want to hear more about that, uh, please take a look at my last few videos, incredible score. Um, so yeah, let's take a closer look at the brooches here. So we have this one with white round rhinestones. Really, really beautiful. Nice size. We have this one here with the oranges and yellows, beautiful fall colors in gold tone. No markings on this one, but excellent condition, really beautiful. I love this one. This one here, another flower style brooch with some AB sort of brown tone beads and some green. A nice size one. Again, excellent condition. Gorgeous. Okay, now let's start pulling from our bag over here. So we have this round white rhinestone piece, sort of that atomic starburst shape. Here's what the back of this one looks like. Beautiful. And we have this one, it looks like we have a missing stone and a darkened stone up top there, but this is a gold tone flower with a large center faux pearl. Here is what the back of this one looks like. So this one needs a little repair. I'm gonna add it to my pile of earrings um, that I have set over here that just need a little help. And then here we have a gold tone rose brooch Pan is open here. Let's close that so I don't hurt myself. Um, no markings. That one's nice. This one's really pretty. So we have these ruby red color Nevette marquee stones with the smaller pink stones around. Gold tone. No markings, but this one's adorable. It's a nice smaller size. This would be a good Valentine's Day piece, right? Those colors, really pretty. Let's see, okay, so right off the bat, a large missing stone there, but something I might be able to replace and repair. Kind of looks like a belt buckle, <laughs> that rectangular shape. Then we have this one. This one's interesting. Kind of a fan shape in, I guess it's kind of a rose gold tone. Here's what the back of this one looks like. That one's pretty. Really beautiful. Another atomic starburst shape. It looks like 
Some of these pins might need to be pushed back together. Some of them are a little out of place, but that's okay. Some really pretty fuchsia pink, the little bit deeper color stone in the center. That one's pretty. I love any rhinestone piece. Um, doesn't matter if it's March or not to me. I think they're all really beautiful. Another pink color floral design. And here is the back of that one. It does look like we have a little bit of verdigris here. It can be easily cleaned. So I'm gonna add that to my repair pile. Okay, and here we have a really beautiful emerald green and gold tone brooch. Here is what the back of this one looks like. Pretty. Okay, and then this one, sort of a ribbon design in a brushed textured gold tone. Have a little bead in the center there. Feels like glass. And here is what the back of this one looks like. Another floral bouquet design. This one with really beautiful deep red colored rhinestones in a gold tone. Here's what the back of that one looks like. Really pretty color. Oh, this one's really cute. So we have some parrots with some cat's eye stones um, and some enamel work. Adorable. No markings, but I actually have something similar to this with parrots in different colors though. Um, really, really pretty. Maybe I'll lock those two together if I decide to let them go, but those are cute. I do like anything with animals or figural pieces. Um, animals definitely always get me. This one's gorgeous. So some yellow rhinestones in a ribbon, and we have these dangle pieces at the bottom. Here is the back of this piece. Gorgeous color. This one's interesting. So we have a very large center stone with the smaller stones around. And it's in this round sort of wavy shape. Looks kind of like a pot metal maybe. And it is a brooch or pendant. Interesting. Then here is, oh, we're missing a stone. Um, I might have one to replace that though. Kind of a round wreath style design. I'm going to add it to our repair pile. And here we have a Christmas tree. This one's really pretty. We have green and red and white, rhinestones with some enamel. It looks like all the stones are there. I don't see any missing which is amazing. Okay, and this one is signed. So this is an Eisenberg ice, nice. So I am familiar with Eisenberg. I know that that's a pretty collectible name and I know people also like to collect Christmas. So this is a nice score, I think. Really pretty. Here we have a gold tone leaf with some AB and white rhinestones. Here is what the back of this one looks like. Nice condition. This one's pretty gold tone, white round rhinestone flower. And here's the back of this piece. Oh, so here's another Christmas. We have our reindeer carrying a stack of presents. <laughs> That's pretty adorable. Eddie, do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> That's Maddie. That's my dog. She has come to investigate what I'm doing. Okay, so here is a really adorable Christmas brooch. We have a reindeer carrying a stack of presents. I do not see a marking on this one, but that's pretty adorable. This one's interesting. So this looks like a lucite 
flower. So we have that clear stem with some blue and clear petals. Really cool, kind of has an older looking class. This one's interesting. <laughs> Maddie, <laughs> she's really interested in what I'm doing here. This one's beautiful. We have some yellow and brown, amber tone, really nice fall colors. This one's gorgeous. Here's what the back of this one looks like. Beautiful, I love this one. Okay, and here we have a flamingo, that's really fun. We have white rhinestones, little red eye, and some blue enamel. Oh, it looks like this is actually a fur clip. I believe that's what this is. Fur clip or a dress clip. That's pretty cute. Here we have another atomic starburst style shape with some beautiful blue rhinestones. It looks like one may have been replaced or it's just darkened over time. I wonder if that's something I can fix. They are in prong set though, which is nice. Here is the back of that one. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna add it to my repair pile just to see if I have a blue that matches a little better. And here we have a missing stone, unfortunately, but some black and white rhinestones. And this is on a blackened metal. I don't see any markings here. We have a gold tone and a really large faux pearl in the center, sort of a filigree shape. That one's nice. This one's interesting. So I already see that we're missing a stone here, but it has this really cool three-dimensional drop piece. It looks like all the stones are there. That's really interesting. I can almost see this being worn as a pendant, this bottom piece, but I, I will add this to the repair pile to see if I have an emerald cut or rectangular shaped stone to go back in here. That one's interesting. I almost wonder if it was placed on. That ring is open. I'm not sure. See another Christmas tree. The ring is open. This one is a white glitter, kind of frosted look. We again have blue and green rhinestones. Beautiful. Looks like it's in really good condition. Oh, and this one is also an Eisenberg ice. Nice, that one's beautiful. Ooh, this one's gorgeous. This one's a really nice size. Some brown and amber and clear rhinestones. It looks like they're all there. Really beautiful. Here is what the back of this one looks like. Gorgeous. Yeah, just look at the size of that in my hand. That's beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh, yet another Christmas tree. <laughs> so we must have someone's entire Christmas tree brooch collection in here, but look at the colors on this one. Really beautiful, purple, blue, red, yellow, green, gorgeous. Another Eisenberg ice. So yeah, this must have all come from the same estate. Beautiful. And then, oh, missing stones, uh, but blue, really beautiful baby blue color stones on a silver tone brooch. Uh, this one's adorable. So we have a gold tone brooch with some faux pearls and this really beautiful floral, I don't know if that's painted. It's a really pretty design. And here is what the back of this one looks like. Again, no markings, uh, but really, really cool. I think I have earrings that have this black and pink floral design on them. I'm sure there is a name for that. So if you know, please let me know in the comments, but that's really cool. I like this one. This is a 
pretty Christmas rocking horse in silver tone with some enamel and a little green rhinestone eye. And this one is Danecraft. Oh, that's interesting. I have some sterling silver Danecraft brooches, um, but I believe those ones are marked sterling. This one is not. So I'll test this, but I, I don't believe this is sterling, but it's really beautiful. This is this one's really interesting. This is a bird with a rhinestone collar and a little rhinestone eye. To me, it almost looks maybe like a phoenix or I'm not sure what type of bird this is, but no markings on the back here. That's beautiful though. It's really interesting the way this is made with these almost chains to represent the feathers. Adorable. Then we have this piece here with a glass, a red glass cabochon in the center, silver tone. And here's what the back of this one looks like. Yeah, most of these have been unmarked so far, other than our Eisenberg and our, our Dane Craft, which that is all right. Oh, this one's gorgeous. I love this one. So that baby blue color looks like aquamarine. This is a nice kind of three-dimensional construction to it. Oops, our tag is getting all tangled up. But here's what the back looks like. It's in beautiful condition. That's stunning. Love this one. So then we have this. I don't know. This feels like kind of metallic thread that it's made out of. We have a faux pearl at the center. And here is what the back looks like. So maybe somebody, this was a homemade type of piece. I'm not sure. It's in great condition though. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, got two in my hand. We have this really interesting multicolor rhinestone brooch, although I see we're missing quite a few of the stones, so definitely this might go into my repair lot uh, to harvest these stones for another piece, potentially. Here is what the back of this one looks like. It's a really cool design, though. It's unfortunate that we're missing so many stones, but I will find a way to utilize what we do have here and add it to my repair pile. And then we have this one. So another bouquet sort of style with a ribbon, rhinestone, but this is a strange colored metal. It looks like they almost painted it silver. So I don't know if that's how it was originally done or somebody tried to repair it with a silver paint, but it needs a little bit of help, I think. <laughs> okay, this one's cute. So we have a little newspaper boy, <laughs> gold tone with enamel. That's funny. Um, is there a marking on this? No marking on this one. This little hat. <laughs> That's pretty cute. We have this circular and floral brooch. This one's really beautiful. We have clear rhinestones and then these beautiful purple rhinestones in the flowers and this gold filigree work back looks like. Again, beautiful condition. That's gorgeous. And we have this piece with multicolor cabochon stones. Try to see if, <clears throat> yep, we are missing a stone here. Um, Yep, so it needs a little bit of repair, but here's what the back of this one looks like. This is a really nice size. I think the colors are beautiful. Two stones. <laughs> so yeah, this will go to the repair pile. This one's beautiful. Pink and clear rhinestone flower. We are missing one here, unfortunately. Don't see a marking, but really, really nice. This 
is beautiful. So we have a porcelain or ceramic brooch with a beautiful yellow rose. Here's what the back of that one looks like. Really beautiful. I have a few of these sort of porcelain painted brooches in my collection. And then a little bow piece that we're missing a number of stones. So this one is definitely going to the repair pile. And then we have a little cloisonne style floral brooch. That's pretty. It's in really nice condition as well. We have this silver tone and gold tone flower brooch. It's a metal piece. Again, a kind of a 3D construction on that. And here's what the back looks like. And I'm not sure if this is damage or if that was part of the original design. I'm not sure. Some of it looks like damage, but then I'm not quite sure. <laughs> uh, but we have that piece. This one's cute. I'm not quite sure what the shape of this is. Oh, and this one's an Eisenberg ice as well. So maybe this is another holiday. Maybe Is this an angel? Kind of like a wing. I'm not sure if you know what <laughs> this is meant to be. Please let me know. But it's really, really nice. It can go along with our other Eisenberg Christmas tree brooches. We have this enamel and gold tone circular brooch. It's a really pretty enamel. There's some metallic kind of swirls running through it. No markings. Another holiday brooch. We have a sleigh with a tree uh, and it is another Eisenberg. So yeah, this must have been somebody's collection of Eisenberg ice pins, but beautiful condition. The enamel's perfect. I don't see anywhere to the gold tone on any of them. It's almost like they never wore them. Beautiful. Oh, this is adorable. So we have a little pair with green rhinestones and I do see that we're missing a few. So I will add it to my repair pile. Is that a maker's mark? I don't think so. Here's what the back looks like. I do like fruit jewelry as well. I have some glass fruit pendants that I think are really fun. And I know that the fruit pieces are fairly collectible as well. So I'm gonna add this to my repair pile and hopefully I'll find some emerald green rhinestones to fix this with. So it's really cute. another Christmas tree. Okay, so yeah, we have another gold tone Christmas tree, again with the multicolor rhinestones. Another Eisenberg. Beautiful. So I think these are great scores. I really don't know what the value of them are, um, but I, I have seen Eisenberg before, and I know that people do collect it. This is beautiful. So we have a pink and green and this one blue one, which I'm not sure if that was a replacement stone. I'm going to say most likely, <laughs> um, but really beautiful wreath. And you know what? I had somebody comment yesterday saying that I had a, a brooch that, uh, a brooch, I had a pair of earrings that had this really beautiful peridot color stone in it. And they said to check to see if it was uranium glass. So I wonder if these could be as well. Unfortunately, I don't have a black light here with me. Um, I need to purchase a new one. Mine burnt out and I do not have a battery to fix it. Um, but yeah, I think that would be interesting to check to see. But really beautiful. I do think that blue stone is a replacement though. We have a heart, another missing stone. Here's what the back of that one looks like. Add it to our repair. Oh, I'm missing so many stones on this one, but it's really cool design. So we have this blue, blue greenish teardrop with these pearl teardrops in the heart shape. Oh, and there is a marking on it. Art. Okay, so it's Arthur Pepper, if I'm remember correctly. 
And I know that his work is fairly collectible, but I do think it's going to be next to impossible to replace these really specific size and shape stones here. Um, but if I can, I will. Interesting, so we'll put that in our repair lot. Oh, and this one still has a tag on it. So silver tone, faux pearl, we are missing a pearl, but actually I don't think that'd be too hard to replace. And it looks like a tiny rhinestone is missing as well. But otherwise, I mean, the silver tone is really in great condition. So this is a trafari, and what's interesting is it still has this old trafari tag on it. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Jewels by Trafari. That's really cool. I think the tag alone is interesting and collectors might be interested <laughs> um, just to have a piece that has the tag on it. But I'll look and see if I have some pearls and rhinestones to fix this with because otherwise it's in really beautiful condition. Here's a tiny, tiny little pin in that blue color missing some stones. We're getting down to the bottom of the um, bag here. Let's see what this one is. We have a really large black center cabochon stone with some faux pearls. We are missing one. And some little dangles. Here's what the back of this looks like. Let's see. We have this piece. Missing, missing quite a number of stones as well. This one is, what does this say? Jerry's, is that what I'm reading? I think it says Jerry's. Yep, so that one needs a little bit of help as well. Then we have this piece. It's just kind of a resin mosaic faux opal kind of look. And I actually don't, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Not exactly a brooch, maybe it looks like it slipped onto something. Could potentially work as a pendant, maybe? I'm not sure. And then we have this little turtle enamel shell, and this one's more of a, a pin versus a brooch. Let's see, is there any more? I think that is almost the very, very end, and here is our final tiny little pin. Looks like some sort of chalice or cup or trophy, and we are missing a stone. And this one is teeny tiny. So, okay, so those were all of the brooches. I think the Eisenberg ice ones were probably the best. You know, I also love some of these gorgeous rhinestone pieces. These are beautiful. And I definitely have some pieces to try and repair. Um, but of course, you know, the standout, which I kind of knew after I found it that I wasn't gonna beat this, <laughs> is this brooch here. This paid for everything I purchased and more. So really happy with all of these items. And I actually have messaged um, the shop owner to see, just to give her my information in case she's ever interested in clearing out some more estate jewelry. I let her know that I'd be happy to make a deal with her anytime. So we'll see if she responds. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching uh, this series of haul videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any more information for me, please leave me a comment. And I actually have some more jewelry to film for you soon. I took a break from YouTube for a number of months. I don't know. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, you may have noticed that I haven't posted a video in quite some time. So I've still been collecting throughout all that time. Um, and I've still been buying. I just have been so busy. I hadn't had a chance to make a video. So I'm really trying to get back into it. So I have some really interesting finds and things I've started to collect that I'm hoping to share with you soon. Um, okay, so thank you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.